What's going on YouTube? Thanks for tuning back in to another Kratom review. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing the uh, the tie from OPMS. It's a green vein. Um, I just picked this back up from my uh, local head shop and because um, I ran out of my other stuff so I had to hurry up and go to the local head shop today on my lunch break. Um, I just want to give you guys my opinion on how the uh, the tie is. It's one of my favorite favorite ones out of the OPMS brands. Um, you know, I usually have to take about four to six grams of it to make actually feel anything. It's not too bad. I like it. It's uh, it gives me energy. Most of the green veins give me energy. <clears throat> I know a lot of the green veins make a lot of people tired or sleepy or whatever it does but um it's not that bad it's better it's one of the better ones I've actually had um you know on a scale of one to ten I'd probably give it a solid seven on energy at least um you know if I do take too much of it or double my doses I do kind of get a tired feeling or a heavy eyed feeling um so on a scale of 1 to 10, that would probably be a 4 or 5 on relaxation and tiredness. It's not too bad. <clears throat> but I know a lot of people who take the green veins, and uh, it makes them very mellow. It makes them kind of sleepy. A lot of people take it for bed, I've been told. Um, it doesn't really do that to me. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, I just wanted to come back and review this brand the tie on it it's not too bad you know I don't know I just like to inform you guys on how it makes me feel at least because uh, I remember when I first started off on all my kratom you know the first things I was always trying to figure out is how it made other people feel and everything like that and because um, I was kind of skeptical at first you know I didn't want to take it if it was a waste of money or if it didn't work honestly you know for this being a plant and legal in a lot of states I find it pretty awesome because you know there's not that many things that make you feel like this <clears throat> and I know a lot of people use it to get off of drugs off of heroin and pills and all kinds of things because I guess it hits your opiate receptors and everything but uh you know I'm not using it for that I'm using it for energy because it does give me a lot of energy it does make me feel good it puts me in a good mood um, you know, I don't know. If you're thinking about getting into Kratom or trying Kratom, uh, it's not bad. It helped me a lot. You know, I helped definitely uh, improve my social anxiety. You know, before I would go out in public and stuff and people try to talk to me, I would just kind of be quiet and just give them very little replies and things like that. But when I do take Kratom, especially if I take a little bit more than I usually do, it makes me very talkative. You know, if I saw you on the streets and uh, we were talking, I'd probably hold a conversation longer than I would normally. Um, do I recommend this? I do. You know, especially if you're like me and you're looking for a little bit of an energy boost and uh, trying to get rid of your social anxiety, I'd definitely recommend it. You know, I don't... I'm not sitting here telling you to go try Kratom or go do Kratom or go buy it or anything like that. But I mean, if it's something that you've been looking into and you're trying to figure out what brands are best and, you know, things like that, have a little bit more knowledge on it. I mean, the OPMS brand's not terrible. It's definitely kind of a middle class, middle upper class of Kratom. At least in my experiences and, uh, it, you know, Kratom affects everybody differently, so... You know, you can go out to your store and buy it, and it might not do shit for you, but <clears throat> for some people, it works great. For some people, it doesn't, you know. I mean, and a lot of people try the capsules and everything like that. I tried the capsules once. I thought it was a waste of money because the capsules are typically twice as much as the powder would be for less. And uh, I don't recommend that at all because, you know, why waste all that money for when you just get the powder and... <clears throat> get three times as much kratom or if not more 
for half the price. I feel like they only do the capsules for people who don't like the taste because Kratom does kind of have a nasty, bitter taste. In my experiences, the more bitter it is, the more nasty the flavor is, the better it is. It's kind of weird how it works like that, but uh, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't recommend the capsules at all. It's kind of a waste of money. And if anything, even if you are looking for more, more of a convenience thing, I mean, the pills are more convenient, but um, I'm calling them pills. They're not even really pills. They're just a little capsules. Um, if you are looking for something like that, you know, honestly, I'd recommend like going on Amazon or something and just getting empty capsules, or even your local Walgreens or somewhere might have them. <clears throat> and then they do sell machines to uh, capsulize things like that. But I mean, honestly, I wouldn't even waste my money on the machine. I would just scoop a little bit into the capsules and close them up, and uh, make your own capsules. You know, I don't like it because capsules take time to digest longer than the powder would. But, you know, to each his own, everybody's different. Even when I'm at work, I just pour a little bit on a piece of paper or something and just put it in my mouth. I put mine under my tongue um, and get something to drink, swish it around, and buck it back. And it hits me in about 10 minutes, so, you know, works great for me. It's, it's, you know, it's fucking... It's very cold out here, so sorry if I sound like I'm like shivering and everything, but it's really cold out here. I don't know where you guys are from, but it snowed here, you know, and it is cold as shit. I mean, honestly, I'd like to know where everybody's at, you know? Comment down in the section below, let me know where you guys are at, and if you guys got any snow yesterday or today. I think it'd be pretty cool to know where, I, to know where all my viewers are from. And don't forget to comment down below and tell me how shitty of a youtuber i am i know like i said this is only like my third video and i'm still trying to get through this shit <clears throat> you know i have social anxiety and everything so sitting here talking to a fucking camera is kind of weird for me i don't know i guess that all this stuff comes in time but um yeah i mean if you guys could please like subscribe comment it really help me out a lot um keep me posting creating reviews <clears throat> And once again, if you guys have any suggestions or if you guys have seen any companies or brands or anything that you would like to know about, I'll be your test dummy and I'll try them and let you guys know. And uh, So that way you guys don't go to go out and waste your money. <clears throat> Even though if you are already into the creative experience, I do recommend you doing it because like I said before, it affects everybody differently. So the way I take it and how it affects me might not be anywhere near how it affects you. So... You know, yep. All right, guys, I'm gonna go back inside. I was just smoking a cigarette, freezing my balls off. All right, guys, I love you guys. See you guys next time.